My name is Ruth Fitzsim. I'm from Kansas City and my major is Christian Studies with a Bible Emphasis. Definitely what they've wanted to instill and I think have helped me in is the knowledge for service aspect. How to apply what you learn in all classroom settings. How does that look in everyday life application? Whether it's appreciation for the things you've learned and getting to share it with another friend, whether it looks like going to a, a soup kitchen to help people out with what you had just learned about poverty in a, that type of class. It's helped grow in a understanding of uh, weaving knowledge and service together. What I love about HLGU is the humility of the professors and being willing to hear areas, whether that's constructive criticism or appreciation from students, or the desires not just to defend themselves, because there really is a desire to exalt Jesus in a lot of venues here in these classes. PBD is Brothers Christian Fraternity here on campus. What we do is discuss how we can serve the community and have a presence on campus that points towards the beauty of service, that it's not just this thing that we're indulging in to make ourselves look great, but how can we make this community great? How can we make this campus great in a sense? That's the aim and goal of PBD, to serve people, to see Jesus, to love each other, and to see the need in a community for human flourishing, which is important. My experience here at HLG has been filled with a lot of times of just enjoyment with friends, a lot of learning things I never thought I would. It's been super encouraging to grow in knowledge and sometimes uh, gain humility in areas that were kind of hard to admit. And so it's been filled with uh, knowledge, filled with joy, filled with community. My name is Destiny Kaiser. I am a sophomore here at HLG and I am also a nursing major. My senior year, I applied then I got a call saying I was accepted. On paper, none of it made sense at all. In life, it didn't make sense at all. My mom started getting into some bad stuff, and it's really hard on me because I had already had somewhat of a rough relationship with my parents and had kind of took on roles that weren't necessary for me to take on as a child. Two weeks before school started, maybe three, my mom actually ended up getting in trouble for the stuff that she was involved in. And that was really hard because I was getting ready to move into school and like my mom wasn't there. My dad was an over the road truck driver so he wasn't home really much either. And it was like, okay, maybe I'm not supposed to go. Maybe I'm supposed to stay here. Maybe I am supposed to take care of these things. The Lord revealed to me that's not what was supposed to happen. I remember praying before I got to school here that the Lord would give me that peace and also just give me people who made me feel at home who made me not want to live the lifestyle that I was living before and not worry about what was going on at home because it wasn't my concern, it wasn't my responsibility. When I came here, I got that. Met the person I am going to marry and met some amazing professors, staff, faculty, all of them are so genuine, that's, that's the key thing. Because you can fake all of that, but they don't hear. This is something that I posted on my Instagram the past year, I have struggled with the idea of home and what that really meant. Was it the people or the place? Was it with my family or where I wanted to be most? I say it a lot, but I don't think I could say it enough. I am blessed here. In my time of wonder, God gave me this. A place I feel loved, a place I feel welcomed, and a place I long to be at. The Lord gave me a place that cared for me, and for that, I can never begin to thank Him enough for this. This is my home.